guys, welcome back to Sammy's Place. I'm Miss Sammy. If you're new, click on the subscribe. Today's video, as you saw in the title, the IRS lied in an official statement when the tax year started and then on March 3rd released another statement. And I'm going to give you a breakdown of what this is all about. So as we know, we've learned what backlog is. And backlog is when unprocessed refunds that go over the deadline and they're still in the system waiting to be processed. Whether they're on hold, they have freeze holds, they're waiting for ID verification, whatever. They have a backlog. So when we came into this year, there was an official IRS statement that the backlog was at 6 million unprocessed returns. So for people that rely heavily on their tax return credits and refunds, this is a big number, but it wasn't as bad as 2020 returns. People were still waiting for their 2019 and we knew that was going on. So when we came into this year and we saw 6 million, everybody was kind of, you know, it's a lot, but not that much, right? Well, as of March 3rd on the Washington Post, the IRS rele released a second official statement saying that the backlog is 24 million. So the agency is recruiting 80 new positions from entry level clerical to engineers, tax attorneys, etc. The agency plans to use money from its existing budget, a large share of the coronavirus funding to pay for these hires for the next two years. The IRS entered the tax season with 24 million unprocessed returns going back to 2019. Taxpayer advocates and members of Congress have been calling on the agency to tackle the backlog saying that it is in dire need and there's financial consequences for those who rely on tax credits or returns for financial living, important living expenses, okay? They believe that the hiring surge, which would be the largest in decades, is going to tackle the backlog. They don't know if it will be this tax year. There's still gonna be some delay on that. But that's the official statement that the IRS released on March 3rd. So from going from 6 million to 24 million, it is a drastic change. So those that are still waiting on 2019, 2020, and 21 refunds, now you see where the backlog is standing. What I don't understand is how they can give an official IRS statement and then the number change or increase so drastically Maybe people filed their 2020 and it went into the system and increased the number. I'm not sure how that even could be done, but you can go back, you know, if you miss something about seven years. So I don't know if people are playing catch up or there's just paper returns. We don't know, but that is exactly what is going on. And I just wanted to let you know that the Washington Post did have the article saying there's an urgent need for the IRS to hire these 10,000 people to tackle the 24 million backlog. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and there are daily updates coming in right now. People are getting their tax returns on a daily update, like talk to someone yesterday and then boom, today they're getting their return. That's how it's been all week. But they said majority of us will be getting our tax return the first week of March, and a lot of people are still in limbo. So I hope this video was useful. It's an unfortunate situation, guys, but just take it one day at a time, and you're in my prayers and thoughts. Stay beautiful, happy, healthy, handsome, and very, very sweet.